You're looking live at Las Vegas, Nevada, where the Butternut Fantasy Football Draft Order Selection was supposed to be held. But because most of you won't wear a mask and looking at how many of you have aged, you should, we are bringing the draft order in all its glory to you in a different location in an oddly similar way. And with that, I welcome you to the 2020 Butternut Fantasy Football Draft Selection Show presented by the Wuhan Ministry of Tourism. We're running a great deal right now. Stay seven days, get 14 days for free. All right, my friends, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna have a guest appearance along the way and we're here for one reason, to select the draft order and based on the transactions of many of you, it's the only way that you'll set your roster this year. What are we playing for? Well, we're playing for the coveted Case Pepper Trophy, again, this is in honor of our fallen friend, John Case. I was the fortunate winner of this trophy. All of you are trying to win it. And I will only say one thing, give it a really good washing if you do win it. Okay, with that, let's begin. In full disclosure, the draft selection, the picks were chosen ahead of time without my knowledge, but I do know them now so we can do this smoothly. So let's begin. Who is going to take me as the Butternut Fantasy Football Champ. Here we go. With pick number 12, the 12th pick goes to Agenda Bucks, Dave Schuinski, one of many Schuinskis, and you'll see a theme. Does Dave have a legit shot to chase me this year? I actually think he does. He's quite active, not with me, but with other people and maybe not with women. Okay, next we get to Casey. Those are crickets. I have no idea who you are, Casey, but welcome to the league. All I can tell is you willingly chose to enter the Shawinsky family. You did that on purpose. So the odds of you winning that with this decision making, they're a little bit low. So at number 11, we have Casey. Number 10 is going to go to yet another Shawinsky, my buddy Tim, who stepped down as commissioner two years ago. He's been living in exile. The reason I don't think Tim will win is because for the last 12 years, his team name has been Tease Gangsters, which is the same graphic that was given to us by CBS Sportsline 12 years ago. Good luck, Tim. All right, coming in at number nine, the big Jay-Z, Zach Schuinski, another Schuinski. I think we see a theme here. Zach is doing it solo this year, but I'll tell you if we had an up and comer in this league, I think it's Zach very active in talking about trades, not active in pulling them off. Number eight is going to Captain Fat Belly himself, Brett Tapp. You know, Brett has the distinction of two years ago drafting Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes scored 573 fantasy points two years ago. The next closest was 123 points away. And last year, took Lamar Jackson in like round four, who scored 563 points. Again, 121 points above the next guy and didn't come close to winning either of them. Great job, Brett. Okay, coming in at number seven is Dan, whose team name is Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. And judging how Rogers played, I don't want any part of that real estate. So Dan coming in at seven. Dan probably talks more trade than anybody and never commits. Good job, Dan. All right, coming in at number six is Double Doink himself, Scott, who I think has a legit shot of winning this thing based on his acumen, but because he's in 74 other leagues, he's probably gonna forget about it. All right, that brings us to the Schwinn Shady Man, Michael Schwinski. Michael, of all the Schwinski, holds the records for most wins in the league with not with two. Two wins by Schwinski. Good job, Michael. Number four coming to me, the Moon Knights. I am at number four and probably will repeat again. Coming in at number three is Johnny. What I love about Johnny, his name is the Case Peppers after his dad this year. Johnny, good luck. We're pulling for you. Johnny at number three. All right, number two. It goes turn down for what? Turn down for Zach Furtak. I love Zach this year. He's an active trader and that's exactly what we need. And number one, Disco Duck Dougie. Dougie gets the number one pick, the big choice. Is he gonna go with McCaffrey? Is he gonna go with Jackson? But what we do know is with his alarming one trade-off last year, whoever he drafts will stay on his team all year. 
Doug, you do have text for a reason. Let's hear from you. Okay, so that is the 2020 football draft selection. Boomer, can we get some recap from you? Boomer. Well, we're going to let that play out for Chris Berman. But on behalf of all of us in the 2020 Butternut Football League, let's get geared up, let's get those trades going, let's be active, and let's go for the Case Pepper Trophy. And I will see and talk to you all soon.